For centuries, pastoralists in East African drylands have supported their livelihoods through a deep knowledge of the ecological dynamics of their surrounding environment. They are experts at adapting to climatic changes and resource limitations. But in the last five decades, the Maasai have found it more difficult to effectively adapt. This is due to population growth loss of access to pasture and water, to other land uses like industry and farming, and more frequently, droughts. Traditionally, livestock production was guided by customary leadership institutions that would make the key decisions about how to use drylands, such as where and when to graze, and how to regulate water use. Today, these leaders and their indigenous knowledge of land use planning is almost entirely ignored in official government land use planning processes. Working in Longido district, the Tanzania Natural Resource Forum and the International Institute for Environment and Development, funded by Gota and Codeid, have been working with the local government authority along with traditional community leaders to try and improve planning processes so that they better reflect the needs and uses of the people who live on, rely on, and understand the land. The objective or goal of this project really is to contribute to building the capacity of the district of Longido, which is one of the dry, very dry districts, to really uh, plan very, very carefully how to use their natural resources. Tulianza kule Lake Natron, kule wanaita Magadini. Tumekuja kule Lumbwa, Mirugo, Huko, Ketumbeine. Tumekuja sehemu za Yangare Naibor, Mundarara, Longido. Kwa Longido tumekuja jana hivi. Sasa unaona ni wilaya nzima. Na tukitoka tunaenda Tinga Tinga, naenda Sinya, narudi na Manga. Kwa hiyo kusema kweli, waishimiwa mpata nafasi ya kuona halmashauri yao. Tumefanya hivyo makusudi, ili majiwato na makutawano kwenye vikao vya eh, halmashauri. Wajue mazingine ya wilaya, tunapo zumuza habari ya barabara, habari ya ilimu, habari ya maji, habari ya nini, wajue mazingine ya wilaya yao ikoji. Jambo la pili, tunafahamu wilaya longido kwa silimi ya kubwa, tunatumia mifugo. Kwa sababu hiyo, mifugo hawa, Hatuwezi kuwa na mifugo kama hatuna mapariwe ya kupitisha mifugo hawa. Na wanyamapuri. Mifugo hawa, ndiyo tegemeo letu kwa asilimia kubwa. Na kuna hatari ya mapariyo au mapitia mifugo kushambuliwa na kuharibiwa kabisa na kufunga kabisa. Pastoralist and their way of life really depend on, on three major issues. And that is, on the one hand, natural resources. On the other the livestock herd itself, and on the other is the institution of people who look after the livestock. So there is a close relationship between natural resources and livestock, and there is a very close relationship between people and livestock. They all depend on each other. So it is very important that resources are planned very, very carefully, because these resources uh, disappear when rains are not good. Longido tunafahamu tuna matatizo makubwa sana ya maji. Lakini tukaona ni vizuri tutembee wilaya nzima tuzungumze na wananchi wetu. Watu waambie tuna matatizo ya maji tunafahamu. Je, uwezo ukiwepo haya maji tuweke wapi? Ukitaka kufuga ngombe lazima uwe na malisho na lazima uwe na maji. Sasa hao ngombe ni lazima nao tuwatengenezee mazingira mazuri. Kwa hiyo wengine watakwenda kuzungumzia rukoso, wengine watazungumzia maji, wengine watazungumzia ngaro. For communities in Longido, land use planning is not typically done on paper. 
But as the government tends to view pasture and grazing land as open areas, it is clear that unless communities in Longido are able to formally demonstrate the value and actual use of these areas, land tenure will be threatened. Mapori yetu mengi kwa wilaya ya Longido na wilaya ya Fugaji nyingi. Serikali inaona kama ni mapori ambayo hayana matumizi. Tukasema baadaye tupime maeneo yote ya malisho na kuwekea beacons na kuweka sheria ndogo kwa ajili ya kuwafanya wafugaji kuwa na maeneo ya malisho endelevu. The team visited all villages throughout Longido to learn about the way they use the land. Village members discussed and plotted out the important wildlife corridors, livestock routes, water sources and grazing lands. So this project that we are doing today, we are carrying out a lot of participatory uh, planning processes to plan for those uh, natural resources. And we are mapping those, we are mapping where water is, we are mapping where grass is for the dry season, where grass is available for the wet season. We are also helping the district to come up with plans on how and when to use those resources. Katika ramani yetu hapa, ukiwana, ukiwana hasa kama hii sasa, hii ni BH, ambaye visima virefu, na ukienda kwenye kwenye WD hii ni matarajio ya mabwa zetu ambayo tunatarajia kwamba ichimbwe atayola magedero hii ni yuni ankare telegisi mabordoki ibai ni ndo homa 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 baka ngeri ni homa baka ngeri maana ile gei meleweka msingi ambazo zinatoka kwenu ninyi wawakilishi wa wananchi Following the participatory mapping and scoping process the information was shared with technical mapping experts to help formalize the maps and land use plans using satellite imagery and GIS. We've managed to return all of our data to the community groups who originated it. Um, we've, we've mapped out all the areas of, of interest for the whole district now. So, so we have over 500 water points, um, grazing areas by the different seasons and, and cattle routes um, for the whole district now. And um, that's, that's really helped us to, to describe um, the full picture, at least as far as that area is concerned. And uh, as I said before, it's a cyclic process where we have to, to consult, formalise, feedback to make sure that it's correct and, 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 then, and then derive more data. And, and that process is, is going well for now, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy for that. Our next move now is that we are going to have a full council meeting which will look on all these maps, uh, consolidate and, and ensure that they agree on it and pass these maps. Once they pass it, they have then maps ready and the next thing they will do is to ensure that there are bylaws to protect this. So the full council will come up with bylaws which will be passed to higher levels of government and gazetted in the government gazette. Once that is done, now it is a laws within Longido. So if people misuse these resources, the same laws will really pin them down. Mimi kwa kweli hizi ramani zimenifundisha mambo mengi sana. Na pia nimejifunza kwamba ramani hizi zitakapotokuwa tayari. Ardhi yote ya Longido kwa maana ardhi ya vijiji itakuwa mikononi mwa jamii. Kama tutafanikiwa kutengeneza ramani nzuri 
na kuweza kuweka alama kwenye maeneo ya malisho na kuitafutia baadaye hati miliki mimi nafikiri ardhi yote ya Longido itakao mikononi mwa wananchi wa Longido. Kwa hiyo hakuna ardhi yote itakayoonekana kwamba haina matumizi. Nimetambua maeneo ya utawala katika wilaya yetu kwamba mimi na Ngorongoro napakana wapi lakini pia mimi na wilaya zingine za jirani napakana wapi. Kutengana na ziara tuliyofanya ya madiwani ya wilaya nzima kutambua mapitio ya mifugo na maeneo ya kufugia na maeneo yanayostahili kuwa na maji na maeneo yenye maji hiyo imenipa mimi funzo kubwa kwamba kumbe wilaya yangu inafikia wapi lakini pia ina matatizo gani kwa hiyo nimeweza kufanikiwa sana kutokana na mafunzo haya kuyaelewa na kuyatafutia utatuzi kwa kukaa na wananchi wenyewe katika maeneo yao katika utengenezaji wa ramani tutakuwa tumejiwekea E, nguvu kubwa ya kulinda na kutunza rasilimali hiyo mahali ilipo kama vyanzo vya maji kama misitu njia za mifugo njia za wanyama kwa maana njia za mifugo malisho ya mifugo yetu maeneo ya taasisi e, na shughuli zingine na maeneo ya kitamaduni tutakuwa tumeyaweka katika 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 utaratibu ambao tunaweza kulinda aidha kisheria au kitamaduni na kijamii katika ile maeneo ambayo ni maeneo makuu katika katika eneo letu so the whole process is not really about a um, land use or village land use plans that's not the issue the issue is how do you plan how do you really with the people plan how best to utilize resources so this is resource management plans and um, it does not talk about boundaries of a village it does talk about where are the resources when should these resources be utilized but particularly because the pastoral system is one which is communal people share resources so this is what we are trying to strengthen but we are not also saying we are throwing away government plans no we are trying to integrate what is there from the part of the government and what is there from the part of the community and we believe by really bringing the two together you then have a possibility to make these pastoral economies very resilient particularly at these times of climate change <laughs> The outcome of this process will help inform the development of a natural resource plan for the district of Longido. This plan will be unique in that it moves beyond the modern ways of planning by taking a regional and traditional approach. And as climate change adds pressure to Tanzanian drylands, flexibility, adaptive capacity and mobility will be key to securing the livelihoods of those who live there. This plan is an approach to better reflect and support the realities on the ground. <laughs> Hey!